begin tonight with a mother's grief. Her son hit and killed in a traffic accident while rollerblading Friday morning. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Jonathan Martinez. That accident happened early Friday morning just off of the East Hardy Road and West Thorn Boulevard. Our Mario Diaz spoke to that young victim's mother. He joins us live with this story. Mario? Yeah, Jonathan, it was a sad accident. It happened behind me here, and Marguerite Daniels wanted to speak with us tonight because she wanted people to understand that her son was not a statistic. He was a human being, after all, a 19-year-old boy who was beginning to find his way in, in his life doing what he loved, working and rollerblading. My Robbie. My Robbie's not here. Robbie's not here. A grieving Marguerite Daniels calls out for her beloved son, Robbie, this evening. The tears come more than 36 hours after he was struck and killed in the southbound lane of East Hardy Road. He had the tightest, warmest hugs. Her son got a pair of rollerblades upon graduating high school this past summer. The 19-year-old strapped them on every morning to go to work. He loved his job, and he loved to rollerblade. Marguerite had one piece of advice. I asked him to ride against the traffic oncoming so that you could always see them. Marguerite says he would text or call an hour after arriving at his job. But Friday was different. He was struck and killed a few miles from home at approximately 6.30 a.m. Authorities say the stretch of East Hardy Road was poorly lit and that Robbie was wearing earbuds. Unaware of what had happened, Marguerite began to frantically call around at 10 a.m., attempting to locate her son. It was a beep on my house phone, an uh, incoming call, call waiting. And I answered it, and it was the medical examiner's office. The driver was not charged. Marguerite says authorities informed her the accident is still being reviewed. I pray they follow through. Yeah, your heart just goes out to Marguerite there. Um, she informs me that the family has established a GoFundMe page. Uh, we have attached that to the link to the story at click2houston.com. You can find out there. Reporting live at North Houston, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And our prayers are certainly with that family tonight. Thanks a lot.